Hello, we are team Mosito and we're from Iran. Our team consists of four participants, me, Arat Sultani, Hossein Fani, Nima Marvahabi, and Yuna Misari. This is our first experience in RCJ Rescue Simulation, the primary section. I have five years of robotic experience myself and we are from Mosito Robotics Academy. The Rescue Simulation League is based on simulating real rescue robots with challenges like collecting some objects underground and passing by some disruptors. Here's a random image of the game. First, when the robot is just randomly searching the map, it might get caught in a trap and lose all of its points. Second, while we're searching the map, we need to identify the victims and pick them up. After the robot has picked up the victims and it can't hold them anymore, it needs to deposit them in certain orange spots on the map. After the robot has deposited, one of two things can happen. It could have one of each victim type or two of each victim type. If it only had one of each victim type, a super object will spawn on the map. And if it had two of each victim type, it, it will get a super plus object. Let's talk a bit more in depth about each challenge. Traps are proper blocks on the map that are surrounded by a yellow border. Once the robot has entered the purple part of the trap, it will lose all the points it had in its container. To avoid going in the trap, we just have to check if the robot has seen a yellow line. If it's a yellow line, it will just back off. On the map, there are two zones, the normal zone and the blue zone. In the normal zone, every victim is worth the same amount that they are, but in the blue zone, their point doubles. Let's start with the victim types. There's a red victim, which is worth 10 points in the normal zone and 20 in the blue zone. There is a cyan victim, which is worth 15 points in the normal zone and 30 points in the blue zone. There's a black victim, which is worth 20 points in the normal zone and 40 points in the blue zone. The super object is worth 90 points in the normal zone and 90 points in the blue zone. And the super plus object is worth 180 points in the normal zone and 180 points in the blue zone. The rule that the points double doesn't apply to the super and super plus objects. First, we thought the deposit zones were always going to be squares, but in the warm up map, we learned that it can actually be a circle as well. To find the deposit zones, the robot will do one of two things. If there is a deposit zone attached to the wall on the map, the robot will just follow the wall until it gets there. However, if there are no deposit zones attached to the wall, the robot will just randomly search the map, and if it found the deposit zone, it will deposit. But if there are certain markers near it, it can use that to its advantage and find its position relative to the deposit zone. When the robot has deposited, if it had one of each victim type, a super object will spawn near the walls, about 15 centimeters away from the walls. And if it had two of each victim type, then it will spawn a super plus object, which will also be spawned about 15 centimeters away from the walls. And another thing, we broke the main task into some mini tasks. One of our mini tasks is object detection, that is the most important part. Object detection uh, is detecting our object with color sensor and this part is easy, but uh, sometimes our color sensor didn't detect them because the object goes in the middle of the robot. The color sensor are in each side of robot, le in the left of robot and right of it, so it couldn't detect it. For this problem, one of our mini tasks is don't zigzag to a better chance to find the objects. <laughs> And another um, mini task is trap avoiding. Oh, we shouldn't go into traps, so when our color sensor detects yellow, we should uh, go back. And depositing, we should deposit the object in box of color sensor. This part is easy, but we should find the deposit zone. For this part, uh, we have two ideas for the competition. One of them is a the wall to find our deposit zone. Another idea is 
line following uh, for line following uh, we follow the markers for example uh, we are wall following and suddenly we saw a purple marker so we turn 90 degrees and move forward and we go into the deposit zone yes something like this and now i want to explain our algorithm for you here I write a flow chart that it's a summary of our algorithm. Um, at first, it find that robot, check its color sensor, and if it detects an object, if the limits are true, it get it. But if not, it go to another if. And in the next if, we said if the sensor uh, ultrasonic uh, detect wall turn else is it on trap, we go to avoiding trap function. And if loaded object is six, you know, uh, we have two ideas for it. I said yeah. one of them is wall follower and uh, another one is line follower or marker follower is better for it. And if none of them are true, it moves zigzag. In this competition, to reach our two main goals, which are collecting objects and avoiding walls and traps, we had some problems, which are the robot finding the deposit places randomly, the robot getting stuck in an infinity situation on the map, can't detect the objects well, which means the object went past between the two color sensors, the robot going straight in the traps, and finally, the robot wasting time collecting objects with a full box and depositing with an empty box. To fix these problems, we thought of some new algorithms and coded them to fix the bugs and here are how they work. We made a wall following algorithm as you can see in the animation below. The robot from wherever it is starts following the walls to reach the deposit place. To fix the infinity situation bug, we made the turns faster so we won't get stuck. To have a better chance of detecting the objects, we made a zigzag movement as you can again see them in the animation below. The robot going zigzag has a better chance of detecting the objects than when it goes in a straight line. To avoid going in the traps, we decreased the speed of the robot and made a period of RGB color code for the trap to recognize the yellow warning color better. And for our last problem, we simply made some counters in our code to check if the amount of objects in the box is equal to 6, do not detect any object, and if the amount of objects in the box is equal to 0, do not deposit. We have two ways to debug in the co-space simulation the ways are one and the first one is the co-space debugger itself and the second one is the command line and printf way which we use printf in it this is the control panel if we click on this debug part a window will open and we can use it to debug our code or on the other ways if we want to use printf in the co-space is in here command prompt you can use and print stuff like for example if you detect your robot detects a trap this is some of our examples first when our robot does the wall follow to get into the deposits this may take a little while but it at the end it will end up in this deposit using this core space robot. Here's the second situation when the robot will try to do a wall follow to find a super object. Well, in this case, here you see it immediately reaches the super object and there's no time for it to do anything else like the wall following. So this is the third part which our robot will try to get to the deposit even though it has less than our limit of depositing which is 5. It has 4 because but it's at the end of the game so it will try to deposit anything it sees. Okay, now we are going to talk about what we learned from this competition. Uh, we learned lots of different things. For example, the most important thing that we learned is teamwork and uh, we learned how to use Git and GitHub and 
of course, our C programming. But the most important thing that we learn from this competition is competitions are for fun and learning. You can see it here. Learning and gained experience is the first and it has the high degree of importance. And the next, it's fun and teamwork and at the end, it's ranking in the competition. Thanks for watching this video and good luck!